guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sydney. Um, I'm here with Nicole. You might recognize her from my first YouTube video that we filmed last year. Actually, it's like basically been an entire year ago. And we kind of talked about our transfer experience or like how to transfer to um, a UC and to USC. And so I'm just here with Nicole to ask her questions after one year of being at UCLA. Kind of like her experience transferring any advice that she can give you guys. So please keep watching. Can you give a short introduction about yourself? Okay, um, hi guys, my name is Nicole. Um, I'm a UCLA student. This is gonna be my second year at UCLA, um, my third year um, in college overall, and I'm gonna be at a senior status, and my major is psychology. Why did you decide to transfer to UCLA? Well, actually UCLA's kind of been like my dream school, my top school since high school. I would say like starting from like junior, senior year. Um, so once I got in, it was kind of like this gut feeling that like I knew like it was probably the best choice for me just because it was also further away from home. Um, I knew there was gonna be a lot of like different experiences there, and the academics also at UCLA are really good. The psych program there is really good. So and I really like the fact that they have a strong dance community there. So it was kind of like a gut feeling that I knew UCLA would be the right choice for me. So I know that you're a one-year transfer to UCLA, and typically people transfer like within like two years or three years. So how did that if affect your experience coming into UCLA? Um, I would say it really, it mostly affected me kind of like beginning of the year just because um, I kind of like, typically for me, I, I tend to make friends with people who are my age, who go through like really similar experiences with me. So I was kind of worried um, about making friends coming in as like freshly 19 whereas most people were 20 21 even i knew people who were like 23 24 and there was kind of that wide age gap and kind of um, like mental age gap between all of us but kind of when i started settling in and i kind of joined organizations um, and started making more friends um, it kind of it didn't really affect my experience that much but i will say um, the biggest thing is um, kind of deciding how long you want to stay at the school because Coming as a one-year transfer, um, I only, it was only my second year of college, but I, would I was technically a junior, meaning that I would have to graduate within the next year. So that kind of really affected my decision of wanting to stay at UCLA a little bit longer, um, whereas most people want to try to get out after two years at UCLA. Yeah. How is the integration process of being a transfer at UCLA? Um, so one thing at UCLA I will say is that we have a really good transfer community and overall a transfer program. Um, it's super tight-knit and we have um, just like overall really good um, like leaders, like professionals that are leading this whole transfer program who are really like, um, like open to giving resources, like our transfer center is really good. Um, and the transfer community overall is like really welcoming and friendly, so I would say my like transfer experience was really nice, especially knowing that I had so many resources and so much people I could ask questions to. Um, but yeah, I would say UCLA does definitely has a really good transfer program, so that's something to consider when transferring. Um, so you mentioned the specific like resources available for transfers. Can you expand on that? Um, yeah, for sure. So we have a transfer center, which is probably like the best place to go to if you have questions about literally anything. If you want to talk to counselors, you want to talk to people for like career purposes, or just trying to um, even like meet people. There's like a, I think it's like a lounge area. Like people just go there to like make friends too. So that's definitely a good place to go to. Um, also, we have a transfer specific specific dorm where most transfers um, choose to live their first year. And that place is also really good because um, they have a lot of resources there and specific like transfer dorm events that people go to for also like for making friends. Um, we also have a lot of transfer like student run organizations. Like we have a transfer like fraternity, um, like a lot of, um, a lot of like organiza organizations specifically for transfers just because it's kind of hard coming in as a third year and joining organizations where they typically accept first years. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, those are like the resources. We also have like a really big Facebook group that a lot of people like to go to ask questions to. Where did you live on campus and what was the dorming experience like? So I lived in the Nev Plaza, specifically Holly, which is the transfer building. So um, everyone in that building is transfers and typically first year transfers. Um, I would say my dorming experience was great. I really loved being in the dorms, also because UCLA has really nice dorms. I was in a triple, um, I was in a deluxe triple, um, so the rooms, even though they were kind of small, they were still really nice. Um, our bathrooms, our communal bathrooms are really nice, um, and I would say like, everything is super clean. 
um, pretty quiet building overall and I think it's a great way to make friends um, that's why a lot of first year transfers choose to live in the dorms because it's easily it's like the best way to make friends once you get to the school can you talk a little bit about the meal plans yeah so at UCLA there are like three main meal plans people mostly choose from um, so I had 14 P which is the 14 premier um, which is um, basically you have um, a certain amount of um, points that you can use. You can use as much, you can swipe your card as much as you want. You can also um, swipe um, other people in as well. So there really aren't any restrictions on 14P, which is why I wanted it because it was the most flexible as long as you kind of ration out your points and make sure that you have enough food to eat near the end of the quarter. Um, people also get 19P, which is the same exact thing as 14P, but you just have more points. So that means you can eat more. Um, that's more expensive. And then um, there's also the, the regular plan. So there's like 14R, um, there's even like 11R. Um, so basically the regular plan is for people who they set, you're only allowed to swipe your card in at a certain like time of the day. So it would be for like breakfast, lunch, dinner within a certain um, time frame. And your points don't roll over till the next day. So you pretty much have to use those meal points um, those days and you can't swipe in other people. Um, and I would say the overall just like food at UCLA is great. Like we have the number one um, cafe, like dining hall. So um, it was just really good because we have so many options. We have places like Brew and Plate, which is like the healthy, the healthy one. We have places like Denev, which is like the unhealthy one. We have a lot of like takeout places. Um, we have places like Ronde, which is Asian inspired. We have the Study, which is like cafe, like artisan bakery kind of style, and they have coffee. So yeah, we have Feast, which is my favorite, which is all Asian food, and the food like rotates, so there's always different things every single day for each meal. So yeah, the food experience at UCLA is really good. What organizations did you join? Um, so right off the bat, like even before getting to UCLA, I knew I wanted to be part of the dance community just because um, I've been dancing for so long and I knew I wanted to continue that in a collegiate setting, especially, especially in SoCal where we have a really strong urban dance community, but we're not really using that term anymore. But um, yeah, so I joined um, a dance team called Samahong Modern. It's collegiate based, but we're open to everyone. And I would say that's probably the one thing that made my transfer experience like good. Um, so because we're competitive, um, it took up a lot of my time. So I didn't really have a lot of time to kind of explore other options of organizations and doing other things, but I was okay with that just because I wanted to be in the dance community. So yeah, I would say my experience is a little bit different, but I would say for other people, once you get there, definitely try to join as much organizations as you can. Um, even if you do dance, um, you could probably do like one more, at least explore a little bit more. So um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of different types of organizations for different types of interests. So yeah, utilize that to your advantage. How were you able to balance like dance and like your schoolwork and kind of just like having fun in general? Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, it is pretty difficult to specifically for dance to, to balance a competitive dance team along with academics and even social life. I will say though, because the UCLA dance team is, um, dance community is so tight knit, um, it's really easy to make friends there. So that probably, that helped with my social life, um, just making friends, not only through Samhong Modern, but like other people who are part of other teams. You just kind of, you know, meet people and um, talk around and stuff. Um, even through like workshops is definitely a good way to meet people. But I would say like academics and with dance, it was definitely a struggle um, because we have things like Hell Week um, where we have practice literally from like a.m. 8 a.m. to like 2 a.m. every single day. We have to go to competitions. Um, we have practice, like we have pretty much mandatory practices. Um, so it definitely was super time consuming, but it's not something I regret at all because it's, it's something that I wanted to make, make it work just because I love dance so much. Um, but I would say if you're like part of any other organization, like if you're part of like a business fraternity, um, even like a social fraternity, um, it should be okay to balance your academics. Um, as long as you just like put the effort in, as long as you put effort in, it should be okay. Um, also, I think just like, you know, utilizing your resources, like other students, Facebook groups, group knees, and um, your TAs for sure. Um, that's all things that could help with your academics. But yeah, as long as you just put the effort in, everything should be okay.
How was the course load um, in comparison to community college and high school? I would say community college was definitely probably the easiest course load, even though I was taking like five classes per quarter and I was like trying to speed up the process. I think just because uh, the overall like the, the level of like academics was pretty easy at community college. Um, just my high school, um, we were kind of from like a competitive really like super academic high school so I definitely think that prepared me for both community college and UCLA um, I would say for specifically for my major for psych our classes are pretty easy to really interesting and we don't have a lot of requirements but if you are more stem related um, like CS um, any kind of math science kind of I would, will say like just from like my friends experiences it is pretty difficult um, just because um, just like the difficulty of the classes and the number of classes that they have to take. So it really kind of depends on your major, but speaking from personally as a psych major, I would say it's pretty easy and I actually have a lot of room to take a lot of classes, like other random classes that I'm interested in and definitely have a room for a minor. And I definitely know people who are also doing like double majoring as a psych major and they still have room for like extra classes. So yeah. Do you feel the need to join Greek life in order to make friends? Definitely not. Um, there are so many other like organizations that you can join at UCLA that can make your social life great. Um, I would say like yeah, Greek life is great, but there's also like so many other like specific organizations that like appeal to other people's interests. That um, that it, you don't really have to join Greek life to have fun at UCLA. Um, and if you do kind of want to have that sorority fraternity experience, we do have a lot of really good academic. Um, fraternities, um, business fraternities, entrepreneurship fraternities. So there's a lot of options for all different types of people. What are some cons of transferring to UCLA? I would say probably the biggest one is that like constant feeling of imposter syndrome that you feel literally like 24 seven there. It's just because like the, the type, like people who get into UCLA are just kind of like, they're like so up there and, and everyone is, everyone is like deserves to be there. That's the thing that people like you need to remember. Like we all got in there for a reason. Um, but there is like this constant like looming feeling of imposter syndrome like in classes, like in discussions when everyone's like raising their hand, like super eager to speak up. Or just even like when you're talking about things like professional experience, a lot, you know, I know people who have startups. I know people who've like interned at like like huge tech companies. Um, so I, I would say that's probably the biggest kind of con-ish at UCLA, but I would say that's probably for like any really big, like well-known school. And another con of UCLA, I would say is just because it's the size of the school and the number of students that we have. Um, so it's pretty difficult to get classes that you need. Um, it's also pretty hard to get kind of one-on-one -on -one help with like professors um, just because like we have literally like, 200 people in like some big lecture halls so I would say the size is kind of one big con of going to like a really big public school um, yeah like I know some people who like even from personal experience I'm I haven't still been able to get into a class that I need for my major to like to actually get into my major so that's kind of been difficult um, but yeah what are the biggest pros of going to UCLA? Um, I would definitely say, first of all, first off, the academics. We do have really good academics. Um, the food, the dining hall food is super, super good. That's like one of my favorite things about UCLA is just that we have such good food. Um, also the location, we're in Westwood, but we're also in LA, which is like a great city to be in. So you can definitely go explore, um, go to a bunch of different places. Um, Another one I think is also the people, like I said before, like there's that kind of feeling of imposter syndrome, but it's also kind of a positive because they're the type of people to kind of want to push you to do better and kind of um, like do as much as you can at the four years that you have or two years you have or how many years you have at UCLA. Yeah. What's a piece of advice you can give to people trying to decide whether or not they want to go to UCLA or transfer to UCLA? Um, I would say probably the biggest piece of advice I can give is to really consider whether your major at the school, like if there's a good program for it, good classes, um, just good overall like um, like structure of the program. Um, 
and how the opportunities that they have. For example, UCLA is a really big research school, so there's so many research opportunities if you're willing, if you're wanting to go into that kind of field. Um, definitely consider that. Um, I would also consider like just like student life there. So the types of organizations that we have, for example, UCLA has a strong dance community. So if you're really into that, um, definitely UCLA would be a top should be a top contender. Um, also location, um, just because if you want to be in a big city or not, if you you know like LA is a big city and there's a lot of places you can go to. So that's definitely a factor that um, you should consider. But I also know some people who don't want to be in a big city who want to be somewhere more suburban. So um, yeah, those are all kind of factors that I would take, um, take in consideration when deciding the school. Do you feel happy that you decided to go to UCLA? And like, do you kind of regret anything or do you feel like you made the right decision? I definitely think I made the right decision um, for myself. I definitely do think I grew a lot as a person at UCLA. Um, even though my time physically on the campus has been kind of cut short but um, because of COVID, but I definitely don't regret anything. Um, uh, like even like academics, I feel like I've learned a lot about myself and the way the type of student I am, um, even like professionally and just kind of like figuring out like what I want to do with myself career wise, like outside of like after school. Um, so I definitely do think UCLA pushed me to be like a better person and I definitely grew a lot there. What is a piece of advice you want to give to incoming UCLA transfer students? Um, I would say to join as much organizations as you possibly can, just because you're coming in as a third year, uh, whereas um, like for freshmen, it's like, typically easier for them to join certain organizations. So I would say even go out for ones that um, typically accept first year and so first years and sophomores, because I would I'm, I will say that um, people are starting to. Um, kind of accept more transfers just from my personal experiences with other friends that I've heard. Um, so yeah, definitely take advantage of the, type, the number of organizations that we have because I think that's the easiest way um, to make friends. Um, and just be like super open and really like um, open to talk to new people, open to meet new people. Um, and don't let like the fact that you're a transfer kind of hold you back from doing anything. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nicole, for joining me today and helping me film this video and allowing me to ask you questions about your transfer experience. Um, it's great because we made the video from uh, like a year ago about how we transferred to UCLA and USC. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below as well. Um, and I'll link Nicole's um, Instagram down below as well. And you can just ask her more questions that you have about her transfer experience or like any advice that she can give you about transferring. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next.